టేబుల్ కాన్ఫరెన్స్ శ్రీ కెటి రామారావు గారు లీడర్ విత్ యాక్షన్స్ ఏ మ్యాన్ విత్ మోడర్న్ అవుట్లు ఏ మ్యాన్ విత్ వరల్డ్ క్లాస్ స్ట్రాటజిక్ అప్రోచెస్ అండ్ ఇన్ వన్ వర్డ్ హీఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది విజనరీస్ ఆఫ్ ది కంటెంపరీ ఇండియన్ పాలిటిక్స్ శ్రీ కెటి రామారావు గారు ది ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ రౌండ్ టేబుల్ కాన్ఫరెన్స్ శ్రీ సుధాకర్ దేశాయ్ గారు అదర్ డిగ్నిటరీస్ ఆన్ ద డయాస్ డెలిగేట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ వేరియస్ ఫీల్డ్స్ లైక్ ఇండస్ట్రీ బిజినెస్ కామర్స్ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ అండ్ సో ఆన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆఫ్ మీడియా అ వెరీ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ది చీఫ్ గెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద మీటింగ్ శ్రీ కెటి రామారావు గారు హీ వుడ్ బి ది రైట్ పర్సన్ to give the keynote address on this occasion however the matter pertains also to the field of agriculture i would like to share some of my views on this occasion as we all know that the world's population today is almost i think uh, i am told that uh, on tuesday the baby born in manila uh, has added to 800 crores of world's population <laughs> so 800 crores of world population uh, largely india and china comprises this population and uh, world population they require an edible oil of almost 220 million tons every year so the edible oil that has been produced over years is falling deficit more particularly in largely populated countries like india though we have wonderful resources here land agro climatic conditions working force technology yet uh, we are deficit in edible oils indian consumption of edible oils is almost uh, 21 22 million tons every year the production of indian edible oils is almost 10 to 12 million tons every year we are deficit by 10 to 12 15 depending on the fluctuating palm oil 67% of edible oil imports that comprises palm oil only so indian government every year we are paying not less than 90000 to 1 crore 90000 to 100 1000 crores of a foreign exchequer only for importing the edible oils the per capita edible oil in india is 19 kg per annum each person we consume 19 kg on an average in indian conditions therefore we are unable to meet uh, the edible oil requirement of, and its consumption in india therefore there is lot of potential huge potential <coughs> in india for increasing the edible oils for which the cultivation of oil seeds is mandatory for cultivating oil seeds and sunflower etc all these oil seed crops can be grown very widely in india this has been realized by the government of telangana under the able leadership of our honorable chief minister sri ksr garu and he has also realized the importance of oil palm cultivation in, in the state of telangana you all know that the state of telangana has been carved out 8 years ago it's the ninth year we are running on and uh, we had only around 50000 acres of oil palm cultivation in the state of telangana when we initially requested government of india to take up the oil palm cultivation in the state of telangana and also to support it as it on its mission mode initially they said that uh, telangana until now hitherto it was uh, drought like situation prevailing is it possible to have the sufficient humidity and then is it uh, possible to have the cultivation here they had their own apprehensions and doubts we requested for appointment of a technical committee scientific committee so that they would make their visits in the state and then they will give the reply depending on the report uh, the government may take action so accordingly upon our insistence government of india had appointed a technical and scientific committee which has stood the state of telangana entirely 
twice they have to and then they positively gave a report saying that uh, there is a lot of humidity that has already developed, there is a lot of vegetation, abundant uh, water resources have been developed here in the state of Telangana, almost all the water bodies have been regenerated by KCR's government, new projects have been conceived and completed, old projects have been taken up and completed, there is an abundance of water in Telangana which ultimately leads to the development of ecosystem. Then basing on that report, Government of India had come out with a proposal to support the state of Telangana for taking up this oil palm cultivation. That is how now out of cultivation in the state of Telangana has, take, has been taken up and now this year's target is 1,75,000 acres. We have already finished 40,000 acres so far because we had excessive rains, as you know. So because of the excessive rains, uh, our work has been hampered. Now we have time until February first week or second week. Until then, plantation will go on. So our target is to achieve 20 lakh acres of oil palm cultivation in the state of Telangana alone, so that in the field of edible oils, Telangana will be the greatest contributor in the Indian context to meet the edib edible oils requirements. It is suggested by the scientists that if government of India takes up not less than 70,000 acres of oil palm cultivation and uh, 70, sorry, 70 lakh acres of oil palm cultivation and few lakh acres of other oil seeds, not only Indian requirement of edible oils, but India will also be in a position to export edible oils to the world instead of importing as we are doing right, right now. Therefore, the focus should be on increasing the area of the vegetable oil seeds, almost all the oil seeds. Once it is taken up, I think India will be self-sufficient in the area of edible oils and we should not cut our sari figure with huge population, uh, latest technological know-how that is already available with government of India. And when the world is moving very fast, a nation like India cannot afford to have the imports anymore in the field of edible oils. More particularly, the state of Telangana under the leadership of our Chief Minister and more particularly the Honorable Minister, Sri K.T. Ramaragaru, who is looking after the prime sector, the industries, the portfolio of industries held by him, apart from other portfolios. So he has brought a lot of glory to the state, not only to the state, to the country as well, because policies. Now the agriculture, the sector of agriculture, which was grossly neglected hitherto, now the Telangana agriculture has become a role model for the entire nation. Telangana's Aggregate production has increased, quality of production has increased, area of production has increased, the income of the farmers has increased. Not even a single acre of land is kept fallow now. Each and every inch of land has been brought under cultivation. So this is how allocation is created to the large populi here in the state. Therefore, the direct and indirect employment in the field of agriculture itself and its allied sectors itself is very, very huge. And we can hardly see unemployment in the rural areas these days. Each and every person is occupied with some profession, some work, some activity or the other. That is how that is possible to be done under agriculture is being done here in the state of Telangana. And uh, I hope that in the days to come, the oil seeds production in the state of Telangana will definitely add to the uh, global requirements and Telangana will have its own role and place in the history. Thank you. Thank you, Anandar.